We start off with some hamstrings. Um, probably start off some warm ups, 10 pounds increase. I usually get these done at the beginning of my leg workout before doing quads. I don't like doing hamstrings afterwards. Kind of wears the quads, wears the quad down a little bit. So I do hams first. So you be seeing me doing 10 to 15 reps per set. And I'm gonna get to it now. Woo! Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me go all out. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me act a fool. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me lose my cool. Up in here, up in here. If I got to bring it to you cowards, then it's gonna be quick. I oh you made up in the jail before? I'm gonna get my set to 150. You can see there, 15, 150 pounds. Let's see how this set goes. I feel pretty good today. We'll see how things go as progress. Now I'm one one. All over some dumb. Ain't that some? It's the mommy of a strip club Cause every time you come around it's like what? I just gotta get my dicks up And I don't know who the fuck you think you talking to But I'm not him, I explain So watch what you do Or you gon' find yourself Very next to someone else And we all thought you loved yourself But that couldn't have been the issue Or maybe they just saying that now Cause they miss you Try the miss you That's why you laying on your back Looking at the roof of the church Preacher telling them I may do one more set and do a drop set I might start off with the 150 and work my way down to what I started off with, which was around 70, 80 pounds. And just try to keep the reps between eight and 10, or whatever I feel I can do, and work my way down. And this will be my last set of my first exercise of hamstrings. Y'all gon' make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gon' make me go all out. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gon' make me act a fool. Up in here. Up in here, y'all gon' make me lose my cools Up in here, up in here Off the chain, I leave ass off of the brain Still want the fame, off the name First of all, you ain't rap long enough To be fun with me and you, you ain't strong enough So whatever it is you puffin' on, I got you thinking that you Superman I got the kryptonite, I smack you with my dick in the mic Yeah, this is a character, it's not even good actors What's gon' be the outcome? Mm. It's out of all the factors You whack, you twist it, your girl's a hoe You broke, the kid ain't yours, and everybody knows Your own man say you stupid, you be like So, I love my baby mother, I never let her go I'm tired of this is uh, massaging his uh, hamstring right here. Got the little tightening up on it. So we're just massaging it out. Huge hamstring right there. Right. Y'all check it. Call Lil C's. Tell that motherfucker to bring me some no, motherfucking weed no, from the hospital. No, man. Fuck that. Tell that reporter to go pick up 10,000 from Dez. Go no, take about like 20 G's from Gina. Get this nigga next door up out of here, that nigga be showing all night, I can't sleep. And call that big butt nurse with the long hair to come suck my dick. Yo, the doctor said I need about three weeks of recovery. But the nurses is loving me, saying the best part of the day is my half. Feeding me breakfast and giving me a sponge bath. Nigga say I died dead in the streets. Nigga, I'm getting high, getting head on the beach. Chillin'. Oh, I'm gonna add a little weight here. I don't know what this is gonna feel like. Right leg, but we're about to find out if I can handle it. Usually I can. We'll see tonight if I can. That tightness in my right hamstring. Sitting on about half a million with all my niggas, all my guns, all my women. Next two years, I should see about a billion. All for the love of drug dealers. Got no love for the other side. Fuck them tricks. Any repercussions, you your mouth for your spit clip all the time. Papa kick the war rounds, uh, raw flows, and that's how it goes. Probably gonna be as heavy as I go tonight because of this tightness. You think I should do another study? You think I should go? I go into the next exercise. Yeah. Is that how many more you got for hamstrings, bro? One more exercise. For hams, it'll be over there. I'm gonna do the CD curl. It'll be my last hamstring exercise. Okay. This is CD. Have you done, have you, everything you've done so far has been curling. Have you done, have you done anything to stretch the ham out? No. Probably shoot it. Yeah, because you've you done curls over there. 
Well, don't curl. You think I should do curl it? right there? Let's go to the bar. Let's go to the dumbbell then. Probably should do something to stretch it out. We're gonna do a dumbbell bent over. Yeah. Stiff deadlift. This for my nigga swinging things, hammer ringing kings, uh -huh. truck necklace, nigga. Bitch, I can we'll probably do two two more sets here and go and get right in the quad that tightness in my hamstring i'm hoping it don't affect my quad workout tonight but we're gonna see how well it go to these next couple sets and finish up hamstring go right in the quad starting off with leg extensions on the other side. This exercise is not necessarily about the weight. It's just about him stretching and feeling the movement. Stretching that neck, that muscle line. There you go. Hamstring feeling a little bit. Okay, don't feel like it's getting out of play. Finish this last set, and then we're going next door. Right in the quad. <laughs> Leg extensions, next door. Fifteen to twenty on this. I try to. I'm gonna go as heavy as I can. Right here, Bobby, show them the difference of uh, extending the toes forward, pulling the toes straight up. Yeah, you can. I try to curl my toes up. Is what I try to do every time I do my set. Um, there is a difference in variation as far as how the quad works. So move the legs in, outward. I try to just curve them up. And just hold it up. See when he curls, when he curls his toes straight up, it's more emphasis on the top part of the quad. There you go. You extend the toes outward, it's more down here on the teardrop area. Let you down, but I did what I did before love came to town. He's not latching on to the side there. Yeah, I try not to do that. Unless I'm going extremely heavy. But then I just use the handles. But usually when you use the handles, to me, it makes me feel like I'm taking, I'm putting more emphasis on holding on to the bar than I am using my legs. And you also get more leverage when you hold on to the, when you grip the handles here, you get more leverage to shoot the weight up on the thighs. But when you take your hands off of that, you're focusing purely all on the thighs yeah, and the quads. And that's what Bobby. I doing. try to do that until I can't do it no more. When I can't do it no more, then I hold on. But I try to do as many sets as I can doing it like that. And then I'll, I'll, I eventually grab the, the handles when the weight get heavy enough. But I try to keep the, the reps high on this. A friend of mine, first gym, first bodybuilding show, he always told me if you wanted to get some nice looking hamstrings, I mean, nice looking quads, heavy. 
sets, many sets, many, many reps and sets on leg extensions. Go as heavy as you can. So that's what I try to do. I've been trying to do that ever since then. And that was Mr. Alan Corrado Sr. at New Millennium Fitness. He taught me that. Ain't close to grabbing the handles on that one. Because if I start to raise about the seat too much, then I grab the handle to get more, like he said, more leverage. They put more emphasis on the quad when the weight gets heavy. But when the weight is not, it's, that's 150 pounds. So when the weight gets a little bit heavier, then I will grab hold of that bar, for which will probably be on this next set, which will probably be our last set. in my back engine way too many times. So I'm kind of, this exercise kind of freaks me out, but at the same time, I feel like it has to be done. It has to be a part of my, my quad workout. If I wish it was a way I could get around it, but it just really ain't no way. to me is a must. I've been told by all the gurus of the sport that not wearing these is just not safe. So I try to incorporate this in my routine. Put these on, reband. This right here really lubricates the knee, supports the knee, that ladder knee to breathe. To me, knee wraps is for somebody that's more of a power lifting sort and it, to me, it cuts the circulation off, but I know it really tightens up that knee and it really supports the knee when the person is going real heavy. I try not to go crazy heavy. I try to stay within my comfort zone, but these right here will allow, will lubricate that kneecap, keep that joint in the healthy standpoint in which it need to be. So that's why I prefer using these. I haven't been injured on a free squat in a while, but I'm just so, my mind is more confident over here. So I try to stick with what's comfortable. And right now this is more comfortable for me. So I use the Smith machine. It's still the same movement, not as much control with the weight, but it still focuses on the quad. But we'll be going back and forth. I'll be doing this and he'll be doing free squats.
Big Zeke over there. He ducking his camera. I wanted to get him on there. Hey, Zeke. Zeke. I spoke to him when I first got here, but we hadn't started filming. He's preparing for the same show that I'm gearing for in October. Actually, it was him that sort of halfway talked me into doing it. I haven't competed in four years, so four years without really digging deep, eating clean consistently. I'm guilty of that. I'm not gonna lie about it. But uh, now it's time to get serious. It's time to get this body to change, make some things happen. Where was your last show at? Uh, last actual show I competed in was 2010, NPC Elite in Greensboro, North Carolina. Placed first in the heavyweight out of nine guys. Uh, placed first in the 40 over heavyweight out of 13, and then got the overall in the Masters. And before that, I did the NPA Pro show, second out of 16. So we'll see what happens then in the 45. Come on over here, Big Z. You need to put the camera on this big man. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> This is quality of muscle right here. This, this, man, this, this is Aaron Lyons. Hey, this man shows everybody what is going on when he's training. Big Z, strongest man in the gym. So between 4 and 4.15 every other Tuesday. <laughs> I got you, bro. Z, freak. That's him. Look at the size of them all. You see it? That is. All over it's under, under, under construction. <laughs> He got it, man. So give me a, a bicep. Show all my. Yeah, ha, ha, have me show all my all, <laughs> all, all my secrets. Hey, we know we big Zeke don't be playing around. That's it. He know he's playing. <laughs> he knows what it's about. Secret free. He puts it out hard. Every time I see him in the gym, he puts it out hard. 110 percent every time I see him in here. So inspiration to me. Right, well, now that I broke the camera, <laughs> you boys need to get it. Good to all see right, you, man. Bro. Did you show last year? Yes. Okay, that's where I know I see you. Hey, hey. Say Gino. Here we go again, folks. I T I. I'ma show you how to do this, son. Hey. Big shit, stop it. Why ain't your shit stop it? Hey. Big shit, stop it. Okay, that little shit stop it. Hey. Big shit, pop it. Why ain't your shit stop it? Hey. Ball on these niggas being broke and dying. Whatever weight he does, it don't matter if it's 500 pounds or 100 pounds, he has the same facial expression <laughs> on his face the whole time. It looks like it's killed him regardless of the patience. You're gonna go right into it. But four is a bit of affirmation for me. Three will be real life though. I'm gonna try four. And like I said, a hamstring tonight has been acting up. So now we're gonna see exactly where I stand at tonight with this. With the hamstring acting up, so. Now this is this is this is not the gym that I belong to. Came here tonight to jump in with Bobby because him and I have been training partners for years, but sometimes we had to go to different gyms to train because I live in another city. But uh, this equipment today that he's showing you is fairly new equipment to this gym, according to what the owner told me. And uh, I've been hearing a lot. There's been a lot of talk in town about these types of equipment that you only hear got. Steve. Yeah, this this leg press is new. You can unlock this and do one leg at a time, if you wanted to. Um, it has a lock right here. You don't see many leg presses. As a matter of fact, all the gyms I've ever been in, in the last 25 years, I've never seen a leg press that can one, hold as much weight, and number two, you can individually separate the two legs and do one leg at a time, if you so choose. Tonight, we have it locked. We'll be doing both legs at the same time. I start off with a nice acclimation set. To me, this is an acclimation set. Acclimation set. Maybe in the off season, not so much, but, I'm a little amped now, so hopefully four will be a, a decent weight to start with. Big shit pop it, and little shit stop it. Hey. Big shit pop it, okay. and little shit stop it. Hey. Big shit pop That's it, right. and little shit stop it. Hey. Ball on these niggas yeah. being broke, yeah. yeah. now I'm up yeah. to now, do it. To the back, come on, take it while you asking them. No listen to them sucker when they say you too irrational. See, I said I was king, and them lanes started laughing. Them same sucker now, I want to One more set, so I'm gonna let him start on the vertical. Matter of fact, well, I might let him go ahead and get a set in now. And while he's doing the vertical, I'm going to be still working here. When I finish up here, then I'll jump in on the vertical. 
or I may do lunches. King on the trap, I could post several class, cause you know like top bad, dope boy, bring them out and what you know about that. Now they ass high top, what you know about that. Dominated old sick, now I'm going right back. See me right here, let us show that like that. Even this hell say damn, I ain't know it like that. Nigga, yeah, still bank head, you can tell. Ain't nothing changed but the name on the mail. I still kicking dough with them things in the air. Been in Hunter, see me slang in the jail. We are slang, can't no such thing as a jail. Say you need a that was it, right? You go up? Not tonight. Get the weight for me. Let me get this break between sets. That felt, that felt pretty good. I was able to get a good 20 reps out of that. Felt, felt pretty strong. I like it when I have days like that. I don't do a heavy, real heavy weight on squat, but I try to make up for it on leg press by going the extra mile. On the, on the other exercises. Leg press can be hard, as well as squats. May not take as much out of you, but will take a lot out of you to do them. So, that's what I try to do. Put out 110% here, and as close to 100% as I can over there. And hopefully it all evens out. I still got decent quads, still working my quads hard. And tonight, got my partner with me, so, helps me get through everything a little bit easier. Make life a little bit easier doing legs. A lot of squares, it just came off the scale. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. What you wait for? Do it. Do it. Do it. What you wait for? Do it. Do it. Do it. What you wait for? Do it. Do it. Do it. Let me hear you say big shit popping and little shit stopping. 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 Ball on these niggas being broken out of the box and now do it like a ball. When you see me ball laying stacks, tall ball player from the state to the air, whether in Miami, Cincinnati, or in Riverdale, Arizona, California, make it rain anywhere. Pulling out that pistol, nigga, who you think you finna scare? Need 20 rounds of missiles, but how you pissing in your underwear? I told a pair for the cow, so you better tone it down. I suggest you just prepare yourself for when it going down. Eight town west side club, who should catch me? Right up at the top, where big country drawing me. Jack of lies, say they caught me slipping. I could death be. I'm something like a stalker. I be here with a strap, be the trap, be jumping with the hundred dollar slab. If I want it, nigga, I could get a hundred on the tail. You said you do in a lot of that. Yeah. Gotta hit that out of line in the quad and hit that glute and hamstring tie in. Yeah, which we don't normally do that exercise regular season, but getting ready for show prep. We try to put those in there. I'm not sure if my video guy hanging here with me tonight, but. This is my, this is our last actual exercise. Anything else I do is just be bonus exercises after this. I might do a little in and out of thigh and hit the little glute machine just to hit the glute muscle here. Do a little bit more for the in and out of thigh. You know. No, I usually do calves, but I do the trifecta, the AL special. That's the only way I do hamstrings. I mean, um, calf, and it's always. It's always work. Huh? There you go. Super fit. What's up, man? Mr. Stephen Hopkins, <laughs> the man. No, not me. As you can not see, me. as not you can me. see, this ain't no little boy. <laughs> no, not me. I first me. met him, he was this big. <laughs> now look at him. He doesn't go crazy. Up. He's embarrassing me now. He's embarrassing he me. He ain't no look. He's look. See, look, it is. Super fitness. No, that's not right me. here. Burlington, North Carolina. That's it, though. At the Colonial Mall. We train legs. Yeah, we're finishing up the Doing it in. Do it. Trying to do it, bro. Appreciate him, man. Let my video guy come in here tonight. Let my partner come in. Hit legs with me. And do what's needed to be, do what's needed to get ready for this show. So, and that's what we're gonna do. Try to finish up strong. Sell them all, double down, nigga, do the math. Think I won't pull up and something with 200 on the dash. I do it. Do it, do it, do it, what you wait for. Do it, cause I don't do it, cause I don't do it. Mama too, do it for my daughters and my youngest son, mama who go by what she want because she know 
for my pop And my cousin too, they watching me I did it non-stop Now see how these niggas capping me I made it from the bottom to the top Where I ought to be, who do it, did good Then do it different No matter what I do, you know I do it to death And hey, I'ma do it Whispers and rumors about that show is you have to have, in order to make sure that you are tight and straight, and you have to have shredded glutes. Regardless of being shredded and leaned out everywhere else, judges often look at your glutes to see just how lean you are because sometimes other places of your body will, will show striations, but if you hold a little fat in the tail area, then the show here, so you're looking for shredded glutes in this area too. I was looking for a local gym to work out at. Um, and me and my wife was riding around and um, I heard there was a gym in Mebane. I go up there and I ride around in the parking lot and I looked into the gym was closed. I looked into the window and I, I saw a picture of a bodybuilder in the window. He looked good. So I looked that number up the next day, called. And I said, man, I said, I come in the gym and I said, I saw a picture of a bodybuilder in the, in the picture, it looked real nice. I said, oh, you know that guy? He said, yeah, that's me. I said, I'll be there in 10 minutes. I got down there to the gym, and it was Alan Crowder. He showed me, he talked to me, told me that he could help me get ready for a show um, and get me prepped and ready for a show. Um, and so that's what I did. Um, we started prepping for a show, my first show ever. Um, it wound up being a 2001 Elon Classic at Elon College here in, in Burlington. And uh, at that point, he introduced me to Al. And uh, me and Al was in the same weight class, so he thought we'd hit it off. And that's when I met him and his wife, Amy, and um, we've been tight ever since. And then I did my first show there, and it went for three of us. I played second. Um, went on from there and did, that's when I met Harry at the NPA and did my first NPA show, and we both did middleweight. And Al here won first place, and I got third at that show. And it was about eight of us. I got third, Al got first. Um, and then I took a break and just trained. Um, well, later we did do the Alamance, 2001 Alamance, my first year ever doing the Alamance show here in 2001. And it was uh, nine of us, and I got second um, out of nine. And the guy that won first place won that show. Um, then I, take my, I took a nice break and waited to go 2006 and came back and, and did a natural show on a Damian Fisher INBF show um, and then placed uh, second out of six guys in the middleweight division. Um, and that's when I clammed on up, loud a little bit, did the light heavyweight. I might have competed at light heavyweight both those years, both those shows. Did my second Burlington show in 2006 and came very shy, very close win under a guy named Andy. Um, he won first in the light heavyweight division and went on to win the show. Very close between me and him, um, but he did he did beat me. I felt good about myself that year, um, but he, he beat me. Um, and then I came back the following year and that's when I won that show. So um, me and Al worked on some things. We noticed that I got beat that year because of my hamstring, not because I didn't have hamstrings, but because we didn't know how to pose them he knew how to show his hamstrings. When I did my hamstring, I showed nothing. Um, we worked on that for a whole year and just worked on, well, we worked on posing when I got ready for the next show and we really, really worked hard on that. And we kept practicing that pose until we figured out how to show our hamstrings. And once we locked it in, there was no looking back. I kept on going after that. And um, that back pose won me some shows. So, um, particularly my first one. Because uh, from the sounds of Al and some of my other people, when I faced the curtain, um, 
I pretty much separated myself from my competition, uh, being both my back pose and my hamstring. So showing both of those body parts helped me win the show. So you learn as you do this sport. And me and Al try to find our flaws and we try to work on them and try to better ourselves every time we go out there. And that's about the only thing you can do in this sport is try to try to do your best and change and whatever, making whatever changes. I'm always knowing that there's always something to work on. I do not have a perfect body by no means. So I just find my weakness and try to keep make it better. And in my opinion, I was there to witness all this in 2006 when you came in second in the IMBF. That's the IMBF yeah. show, right? Yeah. That's when I noticed the transformation. That's when I noticed that this wasn't the same competitor back in the earlier years. Mm -hmm. You were always good then, but in 2006, you seemed to be that guy. And even though you came in second, I think you came a couple, a couple of second places in 2006. Yeah. But I could see then that this, this competitor here is changing. He, he's, he's not settling and going down. His talent is dwindling. He's peaking. And then following, the following shows after that, that's when you soared on to first place. Yeah, because I remember one year, and it might have been 2006 or it might have been 2005, I attempted to do a show. We was in the back posing. And I asked you, I said, what do you think? He said, Al looked at me and he said, well, let me ask you a question. Do you want to place or do you want to win? And I said, well, I want to win. You're not ready. I didn't do the show. And that was coming straight from my man. He said, you want my honest opinion? You're not ready. Not in the time that I had, so we didn't do that show. I held off. Came back the next year, looked a little bit better, was a little bit tighter, um, and then we went on through it. So we don't want to show up to shows just to get a trophy. We are going to win. That's what we go to. So we go to win. So if we don't think we're taking a winning physique to the stage, it don't hit the stage. Even if I prep and even if I dieted and went through whatever necessary I had to go through, when it comes down to how much time we have left and what I look like, if I think we was a couple of weeks, might have been less than a month out from that show, and we just couldn't see it. We couldn't see myself dialing in in time to get the look that I wanted, so we didn't do it. But I ain't gonna lie, I left it that night when I did. Made the best man win, partner.